1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hola amigos de Telrain Review, estamos en UTMB 2016. Ha acabado esta edición, bueno, ha acabado para los ganadores porque hasta mañana al mediodía estarán entrando corredores, pero tenemos aquí con el más listo, con el más rápido, con el ganador, con el número uno de Ultra Trail du Mont Blanc 2016 con Ludovic Pomeret. Ludovic, eh, bonjour. Um, hello, how are you? Uh, now I'm better than uh, in the race, but uh, oh, uh, really happy. <laughs> 87 countries, more than 2,000 runners. Do you, are, are you believing that you are the winner? No, still, still not, uh, especially because uh, my race was very complicated. Uh, because I have a stomach problem uh, after uh, three hours, and it's, uh, uh, it, uh, the duration was three hours too, so it, I was very quiet at this moment and uh, only walking. And so I thought to uh, stop uh, one night and uh, finish the, the day after, but finally. I take some medicine and uh, it was better and better. So. Yes, because you were at the position uh, 15 at some, yeah. some moment of the race, yeah? Yeah, yeah, 50, so I, I was quite far from the head of the race. I think I was more than uh, one hour from the head. So, but when it became better for me, I, uh, I tried to accelerate and, uh, and uh, I was not sure that I can keep this speed. But finally, uh, I can. <laughs> Ludovic, que iba en el grupo del principio, más o menos por, de, por cabeza, y después cayó hasta la posición número 50, alrededor de una hora del líder de Miller, que fue, iba como un cohete. Uh, at the second part of the race, after the Cour Mayor, you start to, to feel better and to win some positions, I think. And we saw you at Bayer Thin, and we say, we, uh, we said, I think he's going to win. At this moment, you realize that you will win the race? No, I've, I never say that uh, you win uh, before the finish line, because uh, it's, uh, it's a try, so you have rocks, in the last descent you can fall and uh, be injured. So I just say that uh, when I was on the road, okay, I can win. It's one kilometer, no danger, maybe I will win. Uh, but uh, even at the, uh, at the top of the last descent, I was 30 minutes uh, in front. So it was good, it you smelled good. <laughs> you thought, you, thought you, you can win the race and maybe this uh, pushed you to to run faster, yeah? Yeah, but it was really surprising because uh, I, I, uh, when I uh, start to feel better, I accelerate and uh, I thought I can maybe try to get a top 10. But uh, when I continue and I see that some runners uh, stop the race and uh, they were not so far, so yes, I, I do my best and I never uh, I never um, throw away and uh, say no. I couldn't. I that could not do it. Maybe that, that's the clue to never give up. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. And uh, as I say, to to keep quiet during three hours, it, then I get more speed for the end of the race. And uh, yeah, it's, maybe it was better for, for me. What do you thought when when you pass uh, Miller? Fat Fat Miller. Yeah, it was not so easy because uh, we started the, the climb after Trion together and uh, okay, he was in front, just a few meters, I just uh, go behind and uh, then when it uh, was uh, deeper, I go in front and I use my pulse quite hard and uh, finally uh, he takes some distance and, uh, and maybe uh, he paid the beginning of his race because he was very fast at the beginning. And how is the feeling to to enter winner here at Chamonix. Can, is this, can you explain us this? <laughs> it's difficult to explain because uh, uh, it's a lot of emotion because uh, I was with my family, they follow me for all the race and uh, how the, the race take, for me, uh, take place for me, it was uh, really incredible to, uh, to win this race. <laughs> Are you a okay runner? And do you run with these shoes? Yeah. You can see they are, they are dirty. It's, uh, it's, uh. Okay, eh, vamos a enfocarlas en un momento. 
Aquí las tenéis. Uh, which model is this one? Ah, it's a, it was a prototype and uh, there's no serial uh, that, uh, that are sold, but uh, maybe it will come because uh, all the runners li like this uh, model. Sí, eh, sabemos que es un prototipo y que no se no se hacía, que era un poco un modelo parecido a la Speedgoat. Can you can you please show us the how is the the outsole, please? Eh, vamos aquí a ver a hacer a, a ver si ahora le va a dar una rampa y se va a quedar aquí clavado porque no se podía mover mucho Ludovic. Pobrecillo, ahora me sabe mal. Fijaos cómo ha acabado la zapatilla de Ludovic. Aquí con este, bueno. There's a big part uh, with a, it's, it's a soft part, uh -huh. and this is harder to, for the rocks, but it's quite light and there's a lot of uh, like hockey. Uh -huh. Big part yeah. for. The, uh, it was it was new at the beginning. Uh, yeah, but this one they are two and a half years old. But uh, no, I mean, I mean. Uh, no, this one I already use it on uh, several. Ah, uh, uh, okay. But this not important. And uh, but I don't destroy, destroy so much uh, shoes. I'm uh, 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 quite uh, runner. <laughs> they are quite light and. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ludovic, uh, congratulations! A clever race. We follow you all over the race. Eh, lo seguimos durante toda la carrera Ludovic y la verdad es que una carrera muy inteligente la que hizo pensando dónde podía apretar eh, con un ritmo más o menos constante y que fue al final eh, y él mismo no se creyó pero nosotros lo vimos al final en Bayersin que él yo creo que al final allí sí que se, se creyó que iba a ganar y fue donde apretó y entró aquí en Chamonix número uno number one UTMB 2016. Congratulations. Thank you and uh, maybe another time for the Spanish and uh, good luck for the next. Maybe I don't know if Alberto will come back or another good racer. There's a lot of uh, in Spain. So. Thank you, Ludovic. Thank you very much. Ludovic, number one, UTMB 2016. Hasta la próxima.